Hello and welcome again to Let's Play Throne of Ball, and this is Policy of Madness. Last time we finished up uh, everything on the prime material that we needed to do, and we did these two challenges. And this time we're going to fight the Ravager, and that's all we're going to do. And you're going to see me succeed, or you're going to see me fail. <laughs> and there's a kind of equal possibility of either. Very Forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? Okay. I think that's it. All right, here we go. And now we're locked in. You should not have come to this place. So the Ravager looks pretty terrifying and the Ravager is pretty terrifying. The Ravager has more than 500 hit points and is immune to a lot of stuff. Uh, has 100% magic resistance, has a very strong damage reduction to literally everything. Except pure magic damage. Okay. I'm waiting. So, unlike before, we're actually going to keep ourselves up front here. Hmm. <laughs> Oh shit, that's bad. Let's try it again. Shit, fire. This is not gonna fucking work. I shall prevail. If it's just me, am I? Shit. Casting failure again. Okay. So now we're just going to start unloading. Yeah. 
Vita Mortis Vita Mortis Pretty awesome. Fucking time. Tell me all about it. Am I still protected from magical weapons? Yes. Before you die, I promise. Oh, it's already near death. I gotta get him. Vita Mortis. I gotta get him. Vita Mortis. Vita Mortis. Vita Mortis. Okay, so I did that handicapped because my simulacrum never fucking kicked in. <laughs> wow, look at all the debris here from these skull traps. Look at that. I just unloaded skull traps on this thing. Wow, that went a lot easier than I was anticipating. <laughs> so this is going to be a super short episode because that's literally all we're doing this episode. Oh, nice for you to kick in now. A little late. All right. All right. And I did not get another ball spawn power, did I? Nope. Nope. Sure didn't. Okay. I'm going to have to get rid of these somehow. I don't know if they expire.
Duration four turns. Okay. So. Probably. Yes. There we go. Alright. So next time we'll be going through the door. We're going to be facing a Melisan. A Melisan is going to be a slog. It's going to be probably as long of a episode as this one was short. And there's a trick to uh, handling the fact that you can't rest in uh, the, uh, the abyss. And that is wish plus potentially a simulacrum plus potentially a uh, project image. You kind of saw me doing that back when we were in the Underdark. And I just wanted to fuck around with uh, making sure that everything was done within three days. I think I actually got everything done within one day. All of the three um, extra areas. The Beholders, the Kuatoa, and the uh, Illithid uh, managed to get the, uh, knock all those out really quickly in game terms because of abusing Wish. And we're basically going to do that same tactic Tell to handle uh, the fact that we can't rest in the abyss. So next time, that's what we'll be doing. Join me then. Later.